Hi there, today we're going to be talking about how to remotely restart smart home cameras. My name is Steve, this is the QA Weekly, and for those who don't already know, I have a personal smart home project that is basically influenced from things such as Star Trek with the red alert flashing and the sirens and everything. I am using LED lights, cameras with motion sensing, and even IFTTT to try to get this done. I might end up using also a Raspberry Pi in the process, but that's basically what my project is all about. I am using Wisecam V3 cameras inside of this configuration. You have to have usernames and passwords that are unique as well as two-factor authentication. They are frequently updated for firmware. They have micro SD for our onboard memory. They say 32 in the manual, it goes up to 64. And you can use multiple triggers such as time of day as well as geolocation. It is also capable of being connected via USB because it has its own USB cable that connects into an adapter into the wall, which means you can plug it into a battery bank so it can stay powered on even when there's no power. However, whenever you have any small issues related to the internet, including a power outage, even if you use a battery bank for the camera, it will never, have, it will end up with a um, code 90 error. Now, I'm pretty sure they can code the code 90 error out of it and find some other way of doing it. But apparently the current trick, which is completely valid, is to unplug it and replay it, which is valid because this works for just about all electronics. Remove the power source and put it back in. It's a smart home device. It's a security camera. I can't always run home to do it. And between the time that it goes out and I come in to unplug it and replug it, something can happen. So I had to come up with a solution. I'm currently waiting for one of my solutions in the mail, but it comes down to something like this. This is my off again, on again kind of device. This is a smart plug. This specific model, which do go for about 40 something dollars Canadian, is a Casa Smart Wi-Fi Plug Mini. And this one is available by TP-Link and it's available on Amazon. The other device I'm waiting for is a six plug like this, three that are programmable by app and three USB ports that are programmable by app. And this means that with this device or the other kind of device, I'll be able to turn off and on the camera whenever I need to, doing the same thing I would physically be doing, turning it off and on again, which is basically where we're gonna end up going. At some point, all of our smart home appliances will have this ability in devices that should already have that ability. So this is all fine. These are connected by Wi-Fi. They have hardware buttons in case your Wi-Fi goes out so you're not completely in the dark. But the thing is, is that many, many troubleshooting concepts are now possible in the smart home space with things like that. As long as we can turn them off and on again, most devices work. And it's a really neat project as I'm going through it from one step to the other. And this is basically one of those issues that I had to figure out a solution for. So if you are in the market for a smart home camera and you want my honest opinion, at $44 Canadian for your Wisecam V3 camera, go for it. Pick these up too, or pick up something like that. You can use that to basically make sure that your camera never goes offline ever again, because it is annoying AF. And if you're trying to figure out how to plug in a wise cam in a way that will make it possible to turn it off while not using a battery bank directly, because this would intercept the battery bank, use an uninterruptible power supply instead and plug this into the actual slot. And you will have the same solution. It could be on a battery and then you can reset it when you need to. So, I hope that helps some of you out with a solution to your possible troubleshooting issue with the Wise Cam V3 camera. So, I want you to like this uh, episode if you like it, dislike it if you didn't, share with those who think can benefit from this, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tqwayweekly.com or go to my website, tqwayweekly.com, where you can see the show notes on this episode, past others, find other ways of subscribing, and of course, Use the contact form and email me directly. And if you want to see me play video games, head over to twitch.tv slash 1981 link down below where I play 
RPGs like Assassin's Creed Valhalla every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern. Let's see you there. Thank you for watching.